school children this week were surprised to find that the War of the Worlds had come to Darton Primary School in the form of a spaceship that had crash landed in the school playground. Um, my topic for this half term is space and at Darton Primary what we try and do is make like a big entry point sort of thing. So I got the idea from my deputy head to build a spaceship and have it crash land. So I spent my Christmas holidays making the spaceship and everything and having it crash land as a sort of interesting point to get the kids hooked into what we're going to um, ultimately be learning about. So yeah, so it's a lot of hard work's gone in, but hopefully they should be pretty interested in what they're about to do. Yeah, have you done anything like this before? Let's try and get the kids involved in, uh, in a topic that they're learning about. Yeah, we do it every half term. So we've staged a kidnapping and <laughs> we uh, staged a Hound of the Baskervilles break in with an outline, like a CSI outline of a body and blood everywhere in the hall and everything. So we try and do something as much as we can. I dressed up as a dead Victorian child and came back from the dead and did a bit of a haunting. Now we usually try and get something that gets their attention and then that keys them into what they're doing. So we've had really, really good results. So this is the first one that I've done completely by myself. So hopefully it should work. What do you think it is that we've found out at your school today? Um, you know when World Ends Rock come crashing down, does not yeah. that, that feels, Miss Lop says that feels like quite hard, like a rock, so it could be one of them. So you think it's something from outer space? What do you think it is? I think it's a signal to uh, where, where to land. From what, for, from, uh, from aliens? Or? Yeah. So inspiring ideas here at Darton Primary School, and hopefully the children are going to write something that's really out of this world. This is Dan Greaves for Chronicle Online.